How's it going guys? So back out here, um, got a little video on the bourbon today. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, I just got a couple questions about um, the DMM's digital multimeter, um, why I run them on the subs and um, whatnot. So I figured I would kind of go ahead and show you guys what we got working on the back here. Um, it's nowhere near done, but um, I have enough done to where you get the idea of where I'm going with it. So, um, those of you wondering why I do the multimeters on the subs, um, I'll pretty much talk about it in this video. So, pretty much bourbon's been sitting here. Um, we got the alts over there on the shelf. We got another one right there from my truck. So. I'm gonna be sending them off like hopefully next week. Um, I've just been slow with stuff. Um, had a lot of other stuff going on. So I'm trying to get back into the uh, mode of like getting the bourbon done. Um, it'll be March or April before I know it. Got another month or two and it'll be a full swing on uh, shows again. So I really wanna have this together. Don't know if it's gonna happen right off the rip, but I'm gonna try, so. I'll go ahead and turn this around and uh, kind of show you guys what we got and explain a little more in depth. So, I'll flip this around. All right, so this is pretty much same stage we were last time with the rack on for the amps and everything. But um, pretty much the plan is we're gonna do the six amps same as it was. But I'm going to have dual amp racks so I can put 12 right there. So um, basically they're just going to be double stacked amps. Look like 6. Really they'll be 12. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what we got there. So uh, I went ahead and got all the... Now this down here is a mess. I just got the socks wrapped on with the uh, electrical tape. So it's all electrical taped. Plus I put a sock on it just to be safe. Don't want nothing um, back here arcing. So, um, pretty much I got all the negatives ran. I got them cut and stuff. I just got to put the dual inputs on them when I get them. And we got those right there for the positives, which they're all labeled. Um, I went ahead and kind of cut um, which ones go where. And then obviously those our label as well so uh, once I get the dual inputs in I can uh, finish all that which that's literally just gonna be like a plug-and-play um, situation now the lugs are on the ones on the bottom all those are already ready to go so pretty much the positive and negative I believe is ready to go other than dual inputs and I will be adding some more of these uh, team no fuse fuses basically um, in between each set, so like they're already labeled. So, um, I'll be ordering those soon, so that'll be knocked out. All the wiring for the one op will be done. Um, I got all the remotes, which I got, I believe this is like Monster Wire or something. There was a big sale years ago, so I got a bunch of it. So, I figured to use it for um, remote wire, so it's like 8 gauge remote wire. It might actually be like 10 gauge, um, I'm not sure. But that's for the remotes. Then we pretty much get up in here um, with the sub leads and the multimeters and stuff. So obviously the RCA box, we kind of, like I've said before, um, kind of franken one together out of two I had. I got a whole bunch over there on the shelf, so I just made me one. All the RCAs are over here ready to go, all brand new. So pretty much the meters. Um, as you guys can see, we got eight of them in here. I just got five more installed, so I got to do four more of them still, and then all of them will be done. And then all these wires will be wrapped. Everything will be nice and wrapped, so you can't see. It'll look like this here with the Tesla tape wrapped all on everything. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. Um, I mean, by the time you get amps in, I'll just plug into the amps. Um, I might get some Teflex and wrap these, but I'm not sure. Might do like some white or something. 
but I feel like it looks pretty good like it is. Plus, it's all going to be kind of zip tied up up here, kind of kind of like that. Just plug it into the amp, so it's not like, I mean, I feel like it's going to look pretty good once it's all done. But I have this side pretty much all wrapped up. Got amp 1 and amp 7, because I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then come back to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So... That's the way I got it wired. Everything's already labeled and, like I said, pre-wired. So once I get the dual amp racks, the dual um, inputs, the team no fuses, um, it's pretty much going to be just plug it in and be ready. So and um, like I said, the other four meters I just got to put in here and wire to these here. So this is kind of like before and after, but um, obviously I I don't mind this look. I kind of like it, but I'm just trying to, with all these going into each one and then coming into the wire ferrule, it just didn't look the best. So I'm trying to clean it up as much as I can. Um, we got quite a bit of wires coming through here just from the meters. So like I said, all that will be taped up and finished once once basically I get one more on this side I can wrap all this up up to about this point and then finish this side so it's coming along it's uh, some s slow tedious stuff but uh, I kind of enjoy doing the wire side of everything so um, yeah any other questions you guys got um, hit the comments for sure but um, like I said the main comment I was getting is why I run these on here. So I'll kind of go through that a little bit. So this is just a basic fluke, um, the fluke 101. So I'll flip it. We got DC voltage and we got AC voltage for when you're doing to amp tuning and stuff. This is the main one I use is the AC voltage. And then obviously if you want to go over here to check your own load, which nothing is hooked up clearly we got it just sitting here no subs in the box so the ohm load obviously is not going to read anything but you could check ohm load without pulling a meter out obviously we got the good the big fluke the 115 this one's a pretty nice one um a lot more expensive than these so these are just basic and these do have an automatic shut off um i'm not sure if these do or not but I do know these do. If you forget to turn these all off, they will eventually shut off. And then you just come back here and shut her off. So, I, honestly, I really, really like doing this. Um, yeah, you do got some money in meters. But you don't have to buy the fluke meters. You could literally go out and buy um, the freight ones, the Walmart ones. You could buy any, any type of meter. It's just a digital multimeter. And I'm using the most basic functions on them. So you don't need the hold minimum range and all that like these. You realistically don't need that. It makes it nice. These do have the hold so I can hold each one um, to see like what the max was or what the minimum was um, on the AC voltage. That's pretty nice. But you don't have to have all that. But um, yeah, I really like doing this. Um, like I said, you can always use the uh, big nice ones and just pull it out and check them but it's way easier to just come up here and flip all these on sit for a second let them all um get dialed or whatnot and then it's it's good i mean you just check it it's right there on the fly it's really nice so that's uh pretty much uh all i'm gonna talk about in this video i will do another one once it's all wrapped up and it looks um, all finished get that maybe get six of the amps on get the rest of these hooked up get it all wrapped up RCA is going to the amps amps wire I'll definitely do another video then but um, more than likely um, you won't see any more of this for a minute until everything is almost wrapped up at least all the meters are in and then yeah we'll go from there but we got some more content coming on the Impala um, I'm gonna try see what we can float and stuff like that um, we've got another month or two until the temperatures start warming up here, so hopefully um, that comes soon. So 
we'll be getting a bunch more videos out for you guys and then this thing we'll be back together hopefully and uh, be trying to float everything so appreciate the support guys until next time see you later